Let me show y'all. Show y'all this is the real deal. Did you guys just see what I saw? It looks too good to be true, but I bought it, and we're going to put it to the test to see if it's really that easy. And I have somewhere to be, so I really hope that video was real. Here it is. Oh, here it is, right out of the box. Because that looked like a dead raccoon. It looked like she just pulled a dead raccoon out that box. Um, Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I did bring a comb with me, so I had the finger comb. <laughs> O-M-G. Pre-plucked. Bleach lace. Bust down the middle part. And the wig is secured with that elastic band. Like, it is on there. Okay, I see here. It's giving what it needs to give. Can't believe. Even, like, on the sides, it's, like, laying flat. Oh, this is a true glueless wig. This is diabolical. They got wig headbands. The first put that shit on like a bank robber. I'm gonna show y'all. Show y'all this is real. The second shorty, like, I, man, this, yeah, this some. Why don't sperm donors have to pay child support? I just think it's really messed up that somebody can just go donate sperm and then have nothing else to do with the kid that comes from it. I was artificially inseminated because I'm a lesbian and I want kids, right? So me and my girlfriend decided that we were going to go find a donor and have a kid that way. And so when we broke up, she said that she had no legal obligation to this child and she didn't want to be the parent anymore. Of course, I was like, whatever, that's fine. Uh, just give me, you know, some child support. And she said, did you not hear me? I have no legal obligation to this child. I'm not going to pay child support. So now I'm trying to get the sperm donor to pay child support because what? he is my daughter's parent. So I want him to give me his half. Why don't sperm donors have to... No, she didn't. No, she did not. No, she did not. Oh. Oh, my God. My back. Oh, my God. No, she... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. This or the case of the lady who worked in a hotel who went and artificially inseminated herself with a used condom by a millionaire. And the millionaire was then ordered to pay child support. It's some strange people in this world. A regular conversation with you? And you're just treat like, it's just, it's not even the fact, a regular conversation. But when you talking to your shorty and she automatically start hitting that crying voice, red flag. Red flag. You don't spend enough time with me and, and I've just been trying and trying and we just. Uh... And then as soon as you say something to get her mad, it's back to, what, what you mean, what? No. Nah. Ain't no way you got rid of them tears that fast. Because think about it now. A lot of us has gotten our ass whooped when we was younger. Remember when you used to get your ass whooped when you was younger? And, and you get that voice and... <laughs> Even when you try to put some words together, you, <laughs> you... You can't get rid of that. You can't get rid of that. Miss me with that bullshit. <laughs> How old are you? 21. 22. How long you been together? About a year. So what made you give him a shot versus all the guys? He's so sweet. He's so awesome. Honestly, he's so nice. Most guys are like, uh, do you want to hang out? I'm like, no. Like, he actually is so genuine. I made an effort. I made an effort. He made an effort. <laughs> if he gave you a guilt-free pass, would you take it? No. I don't know about him. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you use it? Oh, yeah. What's your name? Sydney Sweeney? Hell yeah. Why is Sydney Sweeney over your girlfriend, though? Dude, hey, she fine as hell. <laughs> what is it about her? The big old titties. <laughs> what I mean, how do you feel about that? Christian, what do you have to say? Sydney Sweeney's got some big old titties. <laughs> Yo, look, yo. I
for this dude right here, man. The desirable truth. If you notice, I do react to a lot of his videos. But what I would say, man, if you see this man on the street, turn the other way, dog. Because <laughs> he gonna come with some questions that's gonna have you questioning your relationship. White boy, an idiot. <laughs> Off the rip. Once your girl said no, your next answer should be no. Then he asked them, why would you pick her over your girlfriend? Because she fine as hell. What are you implying? What are you implying about your girl? Your girl not fine? You just embarrassed your 21-year-old girlfriend all over the internet. That's grounds for a breakup, my boy. Like this, don't they show the picture of the Uber and Lordass drivers before they deliver the food? Could you not see that that's your woman about to deliver the food? Yo, getting caught like that, that's some final destination. Shit. <laughs> and I'm not even saying this to be like weird or like try to act like I got a fetish, but if you're not putting my foot in your mouth, why are we? F Get what I'm saying? Why? I don't care. Yeah, you eat, but so do every other. So, you suck feet, or what? And I'm not even saying... Now, if you've been here, you have seen this young lady before. This is Miss You Ain't Gonna Make It Past Three Strokes. Now, I have never met this woman. I follow her on Instagram, and I'm gonna tell y'all something now. <laughs> now, I ain't, I ain't gonna tell y'all nothing. I'm married, okay? I, I can't go too far. Certain lines, I can't cross, and I ain't gonna cross that line. But let me tell y'all something. You see, you still want to cross the line. Um, uh, I'm not putting nobody's feet in my mouth, man. Have you seen the bottom of people's feet? I don't care how much you vacuum your carpet, man. It, nah, f*** that. No, nah. I ain't putting your feet in my mouth. Now, I'm going to say this. If that woman tells you how much she hates her ex and how much she hates her baby daddy and how they did everything so wrong and just treated her so poorly, you need to let that woman alone. And if that woman is currently dragging that man through something or, he, or they're going through some drama and she's telling you she's going through all this stuff currently with her ex or with her baby daddy, that is not someone that you need to deal with. Number one, because that woman is not healed. Number two, that woman has a vindictive spirit. So understand that at some point when she hooks you in and she gets you to save her because she's putting on a damsel in distress in a poor me in a victim mask for you to come save her and get her out of the circumstances that she probably created in the first place. That's like when you go for a job interview, you never want to talk bad about your previous employer. If she's talking crazy about that person and how bad they're doing her, once you and her get together, she's going to be talking crazy about you. And to be honest with you, that's just not for females. Males do that too, bro. It's niggas out here that do that. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend wasn't shit, man. She did this, she did that. Whole time, he was the problem. Now, I won't say all the time, because there are some circumstances where someone is truly just not kind to you. But what I'm saying is, be cognizant of these women that you try to save. Mm. As women, of course, we benefit from guidance, and we benefit from leadership and to be taught. But understand that some women who are fixated on how poorly they were treated by other people have not healed, and they're not moving on with their life. Mm -hmm. So, you don't gotta listen to me, but you better listen to some Project Pat. Just be cognizant don't of who you her. try to save. She don't because some be women saved. are trying to be don't saved, save or they're trying to make their ex mad, or they just want someone to pull them out of a situation that they created, mm -hmm. and then you eventually will become that same man that she hates, and you will become that same man that she's telling her friends and her family that did her so wrong. And this is facts. I always tell people, when you're just getting to know somebody, Y'all in the talking stage, listen to what they're saying. Sometimes somebody can tell you about themselves 
without actually trying to tell you about themselves. This is a perfect time to pull this book out. I'm a big fan of this book right here. The 48 Laws of Power. And this book teaches you a lot about paying attention to people. How to sway things in your favor. Don't try to save somebody that has a villainous spirit. I don't know if you guys are big on cartoons, but think about Batman and Joker. Think about how much problems the Joker causes Batman that Batman could easily get rid of if he would just kill the Joker. That speaks volumes too because they're both crazy. So if you are one of those people that like to go out and save people, you might need to look inside of yourself. How do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? I think I'm a 10. Do you think other people would agree? I think so. What do you rate this girl on a scale of one to 10? I'll give it a nine. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? I'll give myself like an eight. Do you think other people would agree? Yeah, for sure. Let's see. What do you rate this guy on a scale of one to 10? Um, seven. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? Other people would agree. Sure. What do you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? Five, minimum. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? No. You think other people would agree? Probably. Let's see. Okay. What do you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Uh, seven. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Uh, six. You think other people would agree? Six. No. What do you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Six point seven five. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? I'm gonna give myself a straight seven point five. You think other people would agree? I hope so, bro. What do you rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Like a seven. Like a five. What do you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? I want to give myself like a good seven. I'm not that bad. You think other people would agree? Um, I would hope so. I would hope so. What do you rate this girl on a scale of one to ten? Four. What do you rate yourself a on a scale of one to ten? Maybe a six. You think other people would agree? I guess so. Yeah, maybe. What do you rate yourself on a scale? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. That, 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 um, that four felt a little Jim Crow-ish, boy. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but come on, son. That four felt personal. I took that four personal. 